गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज अर्थ मूवमेंट एंड चेंजिंग लैंडफॉर्म सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर इज दैट हाउ द अर्थ इज मूविंग एंड हाउ इट इज क्रिएटिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस इन द लैंडफॉर्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस फ्लोर चार्ट दैट इन अर्थ देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मूवमेंट्स ओके द फर्स्ट द टू टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेज द फर्स्ट इज द इंडोजेनिक फोर्सेज सेकेंड इज एक्सोजेनिक फोर्सेज ओके बाय इंडोजेनिक वी मीन्स इंटरनल ओके इंटरनल मीन्स वॉट एवर मूवमेंट्स विच हैज बीन हैपनिंग इन साइड द अर्थ दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंडोजेनिक फोर्सेज एक्सोजेनिक इज दैट वॉट एवर चेंजेस यू कैन सी अकरिंग ऑन आउटसाइड द अर्थ क्रस्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सोजेनिक ओके now whatever uh, interior internal movement we are uh, now we are you know uh, is happening inside the earth can be of two types the first is low earth movement second is sudden earth movement so when a earth is moving very slowly then you know a lot of formations are done but you will see the changes you will feel the changes in you know millions of years okay it is not like a very you know quick kind of movement so whatever continents has been formed ocean bands uh, mountain and plateaus and plains whatever you see around is you know a process of a change of you know earth in a millions of years ago okay so this kind of change occurs very slowly you cannot feel it then sudden movement whenever a sudden you know earth is moving then two kind of movement can happen first is volcanoes can happen and earthquake okay so why because these uh, things you know these things are happening inside the earth crust that is why they are called as endogenic forces okay then we have exogenic whenever we see you know movement which is happening above the earth surface that is called as exogenic so there can be two kind of exogenic forces you know erosion and deposition okay erosion means when something is taken away okay and deposition is when something has been deposited at some place that is called as deposition now it can be of four types you know there are four kind of agent which actually you know helps in the process of exogenic the first is riverine means the forces happening due to a river due to the flow of river then uh, um, uh, the forces happening due to the glaciers and due to the winds movement and then due to the marine landforms okay the forces of marine so these are you can say the agents of you know exogenic forces so this was about a flow chart now in this chapter everything is explained which we have already seen you know endogenic forces and exogenic in endogenic forces is something which is happening originating within the earth's crust okay and there can be two kind of movements slow earth movement and sudden earth movement slow earth movement you know happens billions of years ago and they help in the formation of the continents and mountains and plateaus which you can see around okay sudden earth movements is those which is actually happening in in a very sudden movement in a very sudden way and that is why they can uh, you know create two kind of things they can uh, make volcanic eruptions or they can cause earthquake and landslides also okay exogenic i have already told you that whatever we can see above the earth surface that is called as exogenic forces okay now how the formation of landform by internal factors okay how the uh, internally things are happening okay now as we all know that you know inside the earth we have three kind of layers core mantle and crust okay now there are you know tectonic plates you know these are the kind of a plates which have two kind of sizes there are big plates and there are small plates big plates whenever they are moving then it is a very slow movement but whenever the slow plates are moving then a lot of things are happening okay and because these plates are floating above the molten mantle molten means which is in a liquid form mantle that is why they are always floating okay so whenever they are floating and whenever these two plates where plates are colliding with each other with each other or you know you know moving away apart from each other then a lot of you know changes can happen then how the form mountains of how the mountains are formed okay the mountains are formed and there are two kind of mountain the first is old fold mountain and new fold mountains 
Old fold mountains are those. Old means those mountains which has happened billions of years ago. The best example in this is Aravli Hills. Okay. Aravli Hills is the best example because it is happened or it is a uniformation of millions of years ago. Fold means that when there are, whenever two plates are colliding with each other, then certain kind of folds happen. That is called as old fold mountains. So, Aravli is one example. Now, what is the feature, basic feature of old fold mountain? The old fold mountain have rounded peaks. They have rounded peaks and gradual slopes with a lower height than the young fold mountain. Means the slope is very gradual. It is not very steep. Okay, and they have very less of height because they have been eroded. Because they are very old, they have been eroded. That is why they have very less height. Then we have new fold mountains. The best example is Himalayas. And Himalayas are called as new fold because it is recently formed. And they have also uh, been uh, made by the folding technique. Means when the two plates have collided, this kind of formation happened. That is called as new fold mountain. And what are the future of new fold mountain? They are, they are very much different from old fold mountain. Because they have been newly found. That is why their peaks are very sharp. Their peaks are very sharp. They have very steep, uh, you know, they have very steep valleys and they have very huge heights. So, this is, you know, these kind of mountains are happen by the way of folding. Okay. Next, we are going to read about four faulting. What is faulting? When two plates, you know, they separate, they move into a separate direction then some kind of you know a gap is formed and this kind of valley is formed this is called as faulting okay so this is about folding and faulting in the next video we are going to read about the you know how are the uh, mountains formed or how, what are the exogenic forces okay thank you so much